Let's take a look at the network settings that are installed when you install the Groove Rio Learning Center package. From the Groove Manage Home screen, click System and then Network. From here, we see the current settings for the Groove Rio on our network. The current host name is the default one set at the factory. It's the one that's listed on the label that's on one side of the Groove Rio unit. This sequence of characters isn't easy to remember, so let's change the host name to something that is easy to remember. Click Configure. The host name characters are green, indicating you can edit the field. Change the name to something you can remember. I'll change mine to Groove Rio LC. Notice that the DHCP server is the default method of having the IP assigned to the unit, but it is possible to set a static IP address. Click Save to keep the change you made to the host name. A message reminds you about being able to reach the Groove Rio with the settings you're about to save. Click OK. The network connection is restarted using the change settings. You'll need to log back into the device using the admin username and password you created before. From here, we see the IP address and subnet mask that was assigned by the DHCP server. You'll also notice that while Groove Rio has two Ethernet interfaces, there's only one IP address and it's assigned to Ethernet 0. That's because the interfaces are on the same network and these connections on Groove Rio are like a two port switch. On this Groove Rio Learning Center unit, you use the Power Over Ethernet feature, also known as PoE, by connecting the Ethernet cable to ETH1 and the other end to a Power Over Ethernet switch. Remember, you can still use the ETH0 port to connect to other devices, like, say, a laptop. A Wi-Fi connection is available when you enable the USB port and plug in a Wi-Fi adapter. The Groove Rio joins the Wi-Fi network, and anyone with the proper credentials in a browser can view the Groove Rio. Keep in mind there is no communication or routing between the Groove Rio wireless and wired networks because they're physically separated. Groove Rio also supports a secure virtual private network connection as a client to a VPN server. This allows you to securely connect to another network over the internet. And notice there are some network diagnostic tools you can use, like ping, to test if you can send a ping from Groove Rio and get a response from another device on the network. Here, I'm sending a ping to a Groove Epic that's on my network, and I get a response back. To close this out, click Back, Network, System, and then Home. And that's a quick overview of the network configurations on Groove Rio.